Like it's, it's, it's incredible, man, because a person just can't stay stagnant. And that's exactly what yeah. I've been doing. I used to be a lot more fit, you know, I've, <laughs> and I've just been like regressing, man. It's just, this year has been something else too. As far as health conditions go to, I'm working with a hernia beam. And it's like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that uh, is, it kind of, I guess it kind of tr contributed to that bad mood, man. And it was just everything, yeah. I guess, kind of attacking at once, man. But um, as far as here, man, just like, it, it's, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? A person gets to, to a point that you just got to spread your wings even further, B. You know what I'm saying? You get, you, get your, you get certain feathers clipped off, man, but they grow back. You know what I'm saying? You forget, you learn how to, you forget to fly. You learn how to fly again, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, man. Definitely understand, man. Yeah. I've been through a similar situation with the music. There was a point in time where, you know, I was done with the music, and it was because, uh, you know, just like what you were saying, like my fingers was jammed in my ears also, man. And I, I, I didn't I didn't want to go that route, you know what I mean, to pursue mm -hmm. a music career. I wanted to uh, do the music that I uh, grew up listening to. And um, remember I told you, I was an old so I'm like an old soul, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I grew up with an older brother that used to uh, have these two big CD books. You know, my dad had a CD book also, but my brother had two big CD books. And I always looked up to him, you know what I'm saying? We slept yeah. in the same room and all of that growing up. So I just always wanted to be like my big brother. So when he would come home from college and all of that stuff, I just go through the CD books and listen to everything, everything. Stuff I wasn't supposed to listen to, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Uh, and that's from uh, Pete Rock and CL Smooth to uh, yes. you know Wu-Tang, Snoop, dog pound to up into the last poets you know what i'm saying i listen to it all the roots you know what i'm saying so it's mm -hmm. like i grew up that's the music i grew up on and uh when the um dip set era g unit era and all of that stuff that was also what i got to got uh grew up on and uh when it started getting a little crazy to where everybody was sounding the same and mm -hmm. uh I got with the down south sound. I always liked the down south sound. I listened to uh, Project Pad and uh, I listened to Three Six Mafia a lot. Bone Thugs and Harmony, my favorite group from the Midwest. And um, it was cool, but when everybody started doing the bouncy music and it started getting a little out of hand, I got a little discouraged. So there was a time when I was doing music and I just stopped. Before 2K19, if you go on uh, datpiv.com, I have a whole set of other mixtapes from when I was, uh, my, like, my teen years. You know, 18, 19, 20, those years, like, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's a big gap in between that because I just got discouraged because it's like, all right, I could do the trappy, bouncy music and all of that stuff, but that's not what I grew up on. That's not what I want to do. I'm not comfortable in that, you know what I mean, in that range, you know what I'm saying? I feel mm -hmm. like I'm a great all-around artist, so... Yeah, if if I technically had to, I can do what I feel would sell or what they feel would make an artist sell. But that's not my that's not my twist. That's not my style. I want to do what makes me comfortable, and that was always giving them like the feel of the golden era of hip hop unintentionally. Mm -hmm. When I was younger and I used to uh follow my brother to studio sessions and all of that, they used to throw me in the booth. I was I was eight nine years old, and I you know I wasn't saying shit. You know what I'm saying? But I had understanding of the mm -hmm. music that I was receiving and I was trying to you know put it back out so that was always my thing and um I got discouraged before 2k19 came and um I met rim and um after I met rim it was over because uh along with uh Griselda coming out because I stumbled upon the freestyle that they had with funk flex along with mm -hmm. them coming out mm -hmm. and me feeling like oh shit there's people doing what I do like I might have a you know what I mean a little lane in this I meet Rem. And once me and Rem start building, shit just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Rem was a protege of Sean Price. You know what I'm saying? So he already had the energy behind him. And he, he, he had, you know what I mean, a bunch of people, like a bunch of artists and all of that stuff that he was working with. And uh, they all was giving out the same sound that I'm giving, the pure hip hop sound. And I, I was just like taking the waves. So, you know what I'm saying? Once uh we got that going, once I met him and... um. The last, uh, before the outro on 2K19, the, the song Overkill with Rim, that was the first song <laughs> we ever did. You know what I'm saying? And um, oh, yeah. after that, that's when you get a real cool and you get Nezzy Star and all of this stuff. And it's like a whole new energy behind me because it's like, oh shit, I'm exposed to what I would like to call, like, you know, what a lot of people call like a new golden era of hip hop. Yes, sir. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know Edo, and uh, I don't know Flea Lord, but I can almost vouch for the fact that like the reason they do this music is because this is the music that they grew up on. They didn't grow up on everybody sounding the same. Back in the day, if you sounded like somebody else, you couldn't rap in a cypher. You know what I'm saying? I, mm -hmm. I battled people half my age when I was 10, 11 years old in the street because my brother grabbed me by the show. Yo, go ahead, go ahead, rap, rap, rap. You know what I'm saying? If I would have sounded like somebody else back in the day, they probably, yo, get shorty up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, that yeah, well, the it's fact just that crazy they put to you. explain it, man. I just, yeah, yeah, man. I just, I just love this lane I'm in, and I'm happy that it's, you know what I mean, uh, actually being being put back into the limelight. Cause you know, I'm not judging, but this is what I consider real hip hop. This is what I grew up on. This is, you know what I mean, rap, hip hop, gangster music to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. The gangster, the soul, just everything. You know what I'm saying? Wrapped in the mm -hmm. one. This is what I love. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that your brother put you in that space. You know what I'm saying? That's that seed, you know what I'm saying? Allows mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying, to blossom a bit, I suppose, you know what I'm saying, what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy yeah, though, I man. I was him playing basketball. I also follow my brother playing basketball, but you know, I feel like, you know, the universe, for some reason, it was always music. Music was always in my life, you know what I'm saying? And um, he, did the uh the rap he rapped for a little while but that wasn't his thing but i feel like in some strange way you know the universe like you know the universe made him show it to me you know what i'm saying and um mm -hmm. he tell me like if you you can look at certain posts on my instagram you know what i mean you can look and you scroll through the comments and you see my brother king darnell like he, and he'll say things like oh you was made for this or, or you was groomed for this you know what i'm saying and you know, when you hear things like that, and then you know, I got my lady and my brother who who always empowers me, and they make it. They 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 give me the energy that you know, that yes. that that I need with this, and um, I just turned this into my audio diary, and um, I have no reason to stop because I'm. <coughs> this is this is I basically feel like this was my calling, you know. Yeah, it's important, B. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying yeah. this 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 might not be my thing or whatever, man. It's again the importance is um. But it like might. Yourself. Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying? I could, you know.